We posted a video recently about why the Moon Swatch was the most disappointing watch of the year, and while I still really enjoy my Moon Swatch mission to Mars, there's still no denying the fact it is the most disappointing watch you could buy for the price. So today I wanted to compare five quality mechanical watches all around the same price as the Moon Swatch, and I should say retail price of $260. But the even better news is you could probably end up buying two of these watches for the price of one gray market Moon Swatch. The best part about every watch on this list though is that you won't be paying over $250 for a plastic quartz toy. Let's get to it. First up is the Seiko SRPH. 31 as part of the Seiko 5 sports collection. Although certainly not a chronograph like the Moon Swatch, the SRPH31 is a vintage inspired pilot swatch with a caliber 4R36 movement. For $275, you'll have one of the best entry level mechanical sports watches on the market, including a multi language day date function and water resistance up to 100 meters. Better yet, much unlike the Moon Swatch, the SRPH31 features a stainless steel case, transparent case back, and presents itself as one of the best values around. It comes on a nylon strap finished in blue to match the dial with orange lining for contrast. While it's personally not my favorite strap around, it's a small downside for a watch that is $275 of this quality. Plus, it's not like it's difficult to change a strap. Add to that, you never really have to worry about anything going wrong with this watch, making it one of the perfect daily wear watches. For under $300, I firmly believe Seiko offers some of the best mechanical watches around. But next up is a great second place contender, the Timex Waterbury Hodinkee Edition. I felt that the Timex Waterbury Hodinkee collab deserved a place on this list for a few reasons. It shows what a good watch collaboration should be for under $300. With that, it is a much better collaboration watch than the Moon Swatch, not that that should necessarily be a high bar to strive for. Collaboration pieces are always something I'm interested in because I love seeing two brands come together and build something that appeal to both of their audiences. Hodinkee certainly isn't shy about collaboration pieces, but I do actually think this is one of the better ones they've come out with, although the new Hamilton collaboration does look pretty decent. The watch features a Miyota 8215 movement with 100 meters of water resistance and a stainless steel case. The watch certainly doesn't stand out when compared next to the Moon Swatch, but I think a lot of people would appreciate its vintage-inspired dive watch. Watch design. You can check out a full review of this watch in the description below, but right now we're moving on to watch number three, the Swatch System 51 Petite Second Black. The System 51 Petite Second Black stood out for a few reasons, which earned its place on this list. For starters, it's a Swatch, which I would assume you would be okay with if you were already looking at a Moon Swatch. But more than that, it's actually a quality watch for $215. Being the first Swiss watch on this list, it features an automatic movement from Swatch. In fact, it's one of the most interesting mechanical movements you can get for under $1,000. Take a look at how stunning the movement is. The model name System 51 was inspired by the 51 parts that make up the movement. The case diameter comes in at 42 millimeters with 13.8 millimeters of thickness, and the watch comes on a black leather strap. And for only $20 more, you can get this watch on a stainless steel bracelet. It also features a transparent case back, obviously, and on top of that, it is finished in stainless steel, making it a much nicer watch to wear than the Moon Swatch's bioceramic plastic. Oddly, this is probably the most unique watch on the list because I don't think it would be the first choice for many people, but I do think it makes a fantastic alternative to the Moon Swatch. Moving on to number four on the list, we have finally a contender from Orient. Specifically today, we're talking about the Orient Cano with the green dial. Right now, you can pick this up for just $305, and sure, that may be a little bit more than the retail on a Moon Swatch, but how many people are finding those at retail right now anyway? Pretty much every watch enthusiast on the planet knows about Orient, but for those that don't, let me introduce you. They make some of the best mechanical movement watches for the entry level price point. This model features 200 meters of water resistance, an F6922 caliber automatic hacking movement, a 44 millimeter case size, and a screw down crown. You'll also have a green dial dive watch with a day date function. Truly, what more could you want for an entry level mechanical watch? Add to that, the brand reliability of Orient proves that it will withstand the test of time. If you're willing to spend just a little bit more than everything on the list, I think this would truly be the one to go with. And last but certainly not least is yet another Seiko. This time around, we're talking about the SRP E53, 
another model in the Seiko 5 sports lineup. This watch makes it to the list because of its stunning blue sunray dial mixed with its interesting crown placement. It features a caliber 4R36 movement like the SRPH31 that we mentioned before, and with that you obviously still have the day-date function. The watch is all stainless steel, including the bracelet, and the water resistance is rated up to 100 meters. You'll also be able to see the movement through the watch's clear case back, which personally I think always adds another dimension to a watch. I felt like this watch specifically belonged on this list because of similar reasons to the first one. Without repeating myself too much, I feel like just about anything from the Seiko lineup would be a great alternative to a Moon Swatch. In fact, if you're into watches with some funkiness and some interesting characteristics, there are a lot of Seiko mods out there that could also be a great alternative to a Moon Swatch. These Seiko mods are quite popular and you can find lots of reputable sellers on both eBay and Etsy if it's something you're into. But if you're still interested in a Moon Swatch, I get it. Just be sure to check out our review on the screen right now to learn more about what the Moon Swatch is like to live with on a daily basis.